Hey guys, today we're using the Rockwell Model T T2 Adjustable Safety Razor, as well as House of Mammoth Tobacconist, coming right up. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, John, and if this is your first time here and you're interested in things related to wet shaving, you've come to the right place. If you enjoyed this video and find the information helpful, please consider becoming a subscriber if you haven't done so already. It'll really help support the channel as well as inform you of when new videos go up. So in today's shave, I have a few things that I'm really looking forward to uh, using for this video and for sharing with you my impressions. So for the software today, we're using from House of Mammoth, Tobacconist. This is the shave soap and the matching aftershave balm. So full disclosure, I received this set as a gift from House of Mammoth, as a birthday gift, not a promotional gift, and I was waiting to use this uh, when this scent was readily available from House of Mammoth and various online retailers. So I've been waiting on this a little bit. Today's a little bit cooler weather, and I'm ready to jump in. Now let's take a quick uh, sniff off the tub here. First off, to show you the fresh pour. Uh, as far as softness, it's a... Uh, it's a bit, you know, a little bit comes off, but it takes a little bit to, to press in. So this is not a super duper soft soap, but you know, it's about, mm, about average density. And the scent, off the puck, unlathered, I would say it's probably about medium, maybe a five out of 10. And this is just a, I would say like a masculine, complex tobacco scent. It doesn't immediately remind me of uh, like a cigar tobacco or pipe tobacco necessarily, but it's got that tobacco leaf vibe and some other things going on. But we'll go more into you know, the notes and the backstory of the scent in just a little bit. But let me show you what else we're using for the shave today. For the razor today, we're using the Rockwell Model T T2 adjustable razor. Uh, this is the brush chrome finish here. Uh, the, just a quick few observations. I've done one shave with it. And um, so, you know, first you can see it's a longer handle than I usually use, but um, it's quite well balanced. It's got some heft to it, but uh, I think it's, it's a comfortable weight and length, just a little bit longer than um, the razors I usually gravitate towards. Uh, the blade in here is a Gillette Silver Blue Blade, and I can show you, it actually takes quite, um, quite some turning before the door is hinge open and closed. So I'm still turning. And you can see there, there's the Gillette Silver Blue Blade. The doors are a bit, well, it kind of like knocks around but uh, when opened, but it is, uh, so far it has been secure when closed. So let's close it back up here. So I do find that you got to twist it for a longer duration than say like, you know, vintage Gillette adjustables like uh, your, what do you call it, the Super Speeds or the Slims or Fat Boys. So that's one thing to note. The other thing is there, there's no clicking. Um, I'm going to use, be, be using the setting four today. Hopefully that's showing up. But um, there's no clicking when you adjust the dial. It's going to be a little hard to show you, but, and you got to use, um, it doesn't move easily. So it's not gonna slip in the middle of the shave, but um, you have to give a good solid turn to, to adjust the numbers. So yeah, so this is the, the T2 and uh, I haven't used the original Model T. I'm aware that even in the Kickstarter phase and even once it came to production, there were some issues. And in general, you know, I'm not using a lot of twist to opens, but uh, this one recently, the T2, uh, this update recently came out. Uh, there was a promotional price going on um, if you bought it early. So I thought, hey, why not? Let's give it a shot. So this will be my second use with it. I'll share with you more what I found in my first shave um, once we get things going. And lastly, for the brush today, we're going with one from Grizzly Bay. This one's a great, kind of like a graphite charcoal top dark gray top, and some lovely translucent copper flakes at the bottom. You can see the Grizzly Bay coin. And I honestly forgot which two band badger I put in here. I don't think it's a Fanturian knot that Grizzly Bay and uh, Chisel and Hound typically use. I think I got this knot myself, but 
it's been soaking and it's uh, it's ready to go. Again, it's a two band badger knot in a fan shape. Um, very likely it's just one I picked up from Omo directly, but that's what we're going with for the brush today. Next up, I'm gonna load up the brush with the soap, uh, get my face you know, hydrated and get ready for the shave. So we'll come right back for that. I'm working with about two days worth of beard growth here. So we got some stubble. You can see I put the proto lather here um, on the face, just not to waste it. And the brush is loaded and we are ready to go. So first off, as I'm just getting things going with the face lather, let me share with you the official scent notes on House of Mammoth Tobacconist. So Tobacconist includes tobacco, obviously, cedarwood, dried fruit, amber, coumarin, spice, benzoin, heliotrope, and musk. Now I was able to smell an earlier iteration. Sometimes uh, Ben will sen send me uh, scents as he is developing them. So uh, he'll go through multiple versions sometimes in the development of a scent. So I think I caught an earlier version of Tobacconist and one really funny scent memory uh, that it triggered was that of a, like a Chinese medicine shop. And this was something that his wife also got the vibes of. And I think there's something about, uh, it's the mix of like the dried fruit, like dried fruit and spice, not so much the tobacco, but you know, in Chinese medicine, there's a lot of dried roots, dried fruits that often get boiled together to make some sort of tea or soup. And I know this is, very, this is a very specific scent memory, so apologies if you've never smelled a, a traditional Chinese medicine store, but that is, that is where the, the early sample brings my mind to. And I would still say, you know, in the final scent, although it did change a little bit, um, it, still, it still has that vibe. It's still kind of triggering that scent memory. If not a Chinese medicine store, when, you know, it, it, again, like because these things get turned into soup and tea and very aromatic, heated up, you know, it kind of fills the house. So the official description uh, mentions walking into a very classic tobacconist shop, which we actually have a few of those in Boston uh, or, you know, Boston area. Uh, and those are really fun shops. They have a lot of old school items. Uh, gentlemanly items, so like pipe tobacco, cigars. And there's no leather in here, but I think, you know, again, the, the scent memory thing, it kind of fills in, um, it, it fills in some pictures and I, I can kind of think of like a leather, you know, a leather couch, a glass, a glass of whiskey, a glass of bourbon. This is not a boozy scent, mind you, but um, it's got a lot of things going on for it that I think you know, of, of those different pictures I mentioned, if that really brings you to a happy place, which I think it does for, um, for a lot of guys, uh, this might be a really nice scent for you. All right, so we got the face lather more or less ready. And here we go in with the Rockwell T2. So again, I'm using this on setting four. And this is my second shave with it. The blade is Gillette Silver Blue. So one thing that I observed when I used this earlier in the week, just for a test shave, is uh, I'm sure people are wondering, how does this compare to the Rockwell 6C and 6S as far as you know settings, blade feel, um, efficiency, and that kind of stuff. And I used the three for my first shave, and we're using the four today. It definitely, there's more blade feel, and I would say there's more efficiency uh, to the equivalent. So the three setting on the T2 is more efficient and there's more blade feel than the Rockwell 6 CRS. 
So that's really on the opposite side of things because with the 6S, I really like that. It's um, even on the 6 plate, it's not super aggressive, but it'll, it'll do the trick for me, even like three, four days worth of beard growth. And it's relatively low blade feel, which in general is what I like. And as I mentioned, I do have this on setting four right now with the um, with the grain pass. I'm, I, I will show you guys, I will adjust this down to the three just because it's a bit more than, than I would like. And I do fear that um, just knowing, especially my neck area and going across or against the grain, I will probably just irritate and annoy my skin if I leave it on the four setting. As far as the head size, I would say it's sim similar to the 6S as well in that it's a bit of a larger head on the T2 here. And while some have problems with that, it's never been an issue for me. And I'm not sure if you can hear the razor um, when I'm not talking, or even when I am talking, but there's actually a good amount of uh, audio feedback here. Yeah, so that's the first pass. Let's rinse up and we'll, we'll uh, lather up for the second pass. And just feeling around my face after that first pass. I did say more efficient, but um, I, might, uh, I, might, I might retract that statement. That R4 definitely had more blade feel, felt more aggressive, but I'm not sure if it's, if it's that much more efficient. Just in feeling around my neck area, there were still um, a few patches that weren't as mowed down as I th thought they were. Okay, now going in for the second pass, uh, just to um, back up and go back to the scent of Tobacconist. Uh, after have, you know, after lathering up and just having the scent around me a little longer, I will say that the notes that pop to me are tobacco, dried fruit, and spices. It's a very likable scent. There are, because tobacco, you know, tobacco scents are quite popular, there's not one in particular that I, was, that I would compare this to. At least off the top of my head. So if you are a fan of tobacco scents, this one is a unique one. And I will say, you know, against, again, that tobacco leaf vibe, there's sweetness, but not too, it's not too sweet. Because I think sometimes with like pipe tobacco, we're talking more like a cherry tobacco thing going on. With cigar tobacco, we're talking about kind of a honeyed, sweet, sugary vibe, maybe a little sensual. This one, I would say, is a more, more gentlemanly one. There's something, there's an air of maturity in this scent, and really, I mean, I'm, I'm getting that more so with the, with the images I'm getting and what it's reminding me of. Really, really quite, quite a nice blend. Well, I just realized I meant to turn this back to three. So I did do this second pass uh, on setting four. And seeing how it's done, uh, I'm gonna rinse up. I'm, I'm thinking I don't need a cleanup pass and might actually avoid doing so. All right, so in rinsing up, I actually was getting a little bit of stinging in my neck. Uh, that's the original, that's why the original plan. I was gonna turn <laughs> turn down the the setting for my uh, against the grain pass. So just don't want to irritate things further. Before I use the bomb, 
just to help things along, I'm gonna use some Thayer's Witch Hazel. I got the cucumber here, get that on. The cucumber is a really mild scent and um, that's probably gonna dissipate really quick, uh, which leaves open to the scent of tobacconist. Here we have with the aftershave balm. And a log came out, so <laughs> we'll just get some back into the bottle there. The bomb is not, for those who haven't used it, the bomb isn't too thick. I know it was kind of inspired in part by the consistency of the Nivea aftershave bomb, which is a more liquidy bomb, so that it can just apply fairly quickly and absorb to the skin. You know, I am actually getting more of that Chinese medicine vibe. Um, I think it really is that the dried fruits, like dried plums and dates, and like wolf berries, you can smell all those things. I have way too much balm in my hand, even though I put some back in, so just putting on my arms, my forearms. All right, so final thoughts as we're wrapping things up here. Scent of House of Mammoth Tobacconist, very, very likable. I think this one, I think a lot of people are gonna like this one. It's a unique tobacco scent. It might, you know, if you have memories of a tobacconist shop, if you have memories of a Chinese medicine shop or the smell of Chinese medicine cooking in your house, this might trigger that scent memory. But um, I do say, I, I, you know, I'm serious about those uh, scent memories, but also it's, it's very likable. If anything, it maybe brings me back to my childhood. Now for the razor, the Rockwell T2 Adjustable. Um, there, there is a strong following for twist to open razors. So I know this is kind of on the radar um, for a lot of folks. As far as performance, um, I have, you know, in my experience with the vintage stuff, uh, I usually like the performance of non-twist to open razors. Uh, I don't usually find the need of adjusting. Uh, I, I, you know, I don't really, even with the uh, Rockwell system or the different plates of the carve, those are semi-adjustable and I think it just helps key in because I'm not changing plates around. So in the same way, I don't really find the need to change mid-setting other than for the sake of testing um, as I wanted to today. Uh, the fact that this has more blade feel and not necessarily more efficiency on settings, uh, settings three and four, um, I, I'm gonna say I like my Rockwell 6S better. I will keep using this razor and maybe in about a week's time or so we'll come back to this and maybe give uh, you know, give a closer look. I'm sure you guys would love to know the exact weight and you know kind of other specs of this razor. But for, for the most part, I would say um, I'm not in love with it and I will try to hold final judgment until I at least get another shave or two with it. I also wanna hear from you guys as far as your thoughts and opinions on this Rockwell T2. Did you try the Model T? Did you order the T2? Uh, let me know if this is on your radar, something you're interested in, uh, what your experiences are with either the original or the new model of the Razer. And that's gonna do it for today's video. I wanna thank you guys for taking some time out of your day, joining me for this shave. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll catch you next time. Take care. Oh, 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 oh,